uh, I invite Professor Gerd Martin Groyle to uh, speak on the work of uh, Lilavati winner Ali Nesim and the Nesim Mathematical Village. Okay, it's an honor and a great pleasure to present the work of the Lilavati Prize winner. That's the man with his impressive beard, which you see, Ali Nezin. And uh, it's called Ali Nezin and the Nezin Mathematics Village. And I will explain to you what the Nathan Mathematics Village is and what uh, is his work with this. First, let me recall the citation. Ali Nezin has been awarded the Lilavati Prize in 2018 in recognition of his outstanding contributions and great achievements towards increasing public awareness of mathematics in Turkey, especially because of his tireless work in creating and developing the Mathematics Village as an exceptional, peaceful place for education, research, and exploration for, of mathematics for a wide range of people. Before I come to his uh, work on outreach, and you will see that my talk is, and you will expect that different from the previous talks, it has many pictures and will explain what his achievements in uh, mathematics outreach is, but a short scientific research uh, uh, career. First of all, Hüseyin Ali Nezin was born 1957 in Istanbul and he is Turkish citizen. From 1977 to 1981, he studied mathematics at the University of Paris 7 in France. Then he went to Yale University in 1985. He made his PhD. From 1985 to 1991, he had a position at the universities at Berkeley, Notre Dame, and Irvine. And from 1991 to 1996, he was associate professor at the University of California at Irvine. From 1996 to today, he is professor and chair of the mathematics department at Bigli University, Istanbul. His research areas is mathematical logic, in particular model theory, and algebra, in particular group theory, and the interaction between these, and he uh, continues uh, to work on this. Now, I come to his return to Turkey. That was, as you have seen, after his uh, position at Irvine. Ali Nezin's career took a significant turn on the death of his father, Aziz Nezim, a legendary Turkish writer of over 100 humorous and satirical books in 1995. Nezim gave up an academic career in the US and returned to Turkey to ensure the continuation of the, first of all, the charitable Nezim Foundation established by his father from the earnings of the rights of his published works. So that was his first motivation to go back to Turkey. But he also changed his life in order to realize his vision, the enhancement of understanding of mathematics among the youth as an essential force for the economic, social, and cultural development of his country. Here you see a picture of Nezin working with elementary school students. So he actually, uh, his activity ranges from elementary school to high school and mathematical conferences. So before I come to the Mathematics Village, let me just describe his outreach program, uh, which is related to it, but which is, does not uh, concern the village. First of all, he founded, staffed, and, and chaired the Department of Mathematics at the newly established Bili University in Istanbul. So when he came back to Turkey, he became uh, the chair of this newly 
uh, formed university and he created the math department there. Then he was the founder and editor-in-chief from 2003 to 2030 of the Mathematik Dynasi, the world of mathematics. That's a wide-ranging monthly magazine for the popularization of mathematics. So, for instance, there was articles about foundations of mathematics, theory of limits, derivative, graph theory, group theory, and periodic numbers. And it's um, surprising and astonishing that uh, each issue was sold about 20,000 times, which is an impressive number for such a kind of um, monthly magazine. He created his own publishing house. He published popular mathematical texts, including nine of his own works, but as well as curriculum text from the Mathematics Village. He prepared an open source courseware material in Turkish, which is now available online via the Turkish Mathematical Society. He is the author of many popular mathematical articles and Turkish periodicals aimed at the national audience. And he developed and taught supplementary mathematical instruction program for undergraduates outside the regular school term. It was designed to bring the students quickly to a competitive international level. You see, when he came back from the US to Turkey, he realized that the young students needed more education and he wanted to bring them quickly up to an international level. And therefore, he created these supplementary mathematical in instruction program outside the usual courses. That was the, already the nucleus of the mathematics village. If you go to YouTube, you find approximately 7,000 videos uh, posted there relating to the activities of the Mathematics Village, for instance, lectures by Ali Nezin or to students participating in the village. In total, there have been several million views. Also, he received several prizes for his activities. For instance, in 2010, the prize from the Turkish Mathematical Society for expository excellence for his open source courseware. He received further prizes for his textbooks. This, already, this list is already impressive, and I think uh, not too many mathematicians can say uh, who are active in mathematics outreach have su had such an impact. On the other hand, what is exceptional is this mathematics village, which I'm not going to talk about, we're well, now going to talk about. Here you see the village. It's actually a physical place, somewhere in the nowhere, and the non most non-expected place in Turkey, uh, near the village of uh, the uh, city of Izmir, near the village of Sirense. It's a global view uh, of the houses of these villages. It is fully devoted to the enhancement of understanding of mathematics of gifted students at all levels in the inspiring environment and stimulating atmosphere of a summer camp or winter camp. Now it's running all the year. So what I want to stress is what makes the work of Nizin unique and goes, in fact, beyond all envisaged activities for the Lelavati Prize is his creation organization and development of the Nazian Mathematics Village. And now I want to explain a little bit about the, this, this village. First, the construction of the village. The supplementary mathematical instruction program, which I talked about, was he gathered kind of schools in different places and gave courses and interactions, not only courses, but let the students interact. But that was too complicated to organize in different places and so on. And uh, therefore, he was looking for a permanent place. So in 2007, Ali Nezin, together with the architect, actually self-educated architect, and also a prominent Turkish linguist, Sivan Nizanyan, started the construction of the village. Here you see the library, the Sivan Nizanyan library, how it looks today. Many practical 
and architectural challenges to transform the site in the nowhere, as you can understand, there was basically nothing, into an inspiring environment in the spirit of a new way of conveying mathematical understanding. I will come to that a little later. The bureaucratic and political difficulties to create the village were, how even much greater than these practical problems. And I want to talk a little bit about these problems. First of all, the authorities refused official building permit on flimsy grounds. They said, because the land has no official registered street. Ali tried very hard to register the already existing path as a street. And he spent a lot of money on it, but he failed. The building permit was never denied, but it was also not granted, and it's still not granted. After some time, he gave up the idea of getting the permission to build, and he started the construction. He was then accused of having founded an illegal educational institution, and it was said he was teaching without permission, which is contrary to freedom of teaching which of sciences guaranteed by the Turkish constitution. The mathematics village is not an educational institution. We must stress that. Young people come there only for a week or two. There are no exams, no grades, no diplomas, no transcripts of any kinds. So it's not a competition to the usual system. Nevertheless, the mathematics village was raided by gendarmes and sealed. Fortunately, the case was dropped and Ali was saved from prison, and the village was reopened. Part of the resistance to the mathematics village stemmed from the antipathy to the name Nezin. Ali's father, I mentioned, he was a famous man of letters, was also a well-known leftist and avowed atheist. As you, may, as you know, it's a very controversial uh, in the religious conservative part of Turkish society. In 2014, Sivan Izanyan, the architect, also a prominent atheist, was imprisoned on political motivated made up charges. He fled the prison in 2017 and lives now in Greece. And maybe some of you read the, about that in the newspapers. Ali just promotes sharing and learning of mathematics. His actions are all non ideologically but the difficulties still continue. I cannot and I don't want to go to details here. I just want to make one personal remark. You know about the difficulties of journalists, academics, scientists, maybe and mathematicians in Turkey. Several of them, of our colleagues, have been accused because they signed a petition for peace. This is nowadays considered a crime in Turkey, and I think our colleagues, all the scientists, need our full support and our solidarity. This is not directly related to this village. I just I wanted to, to say this. Now, there was support for the village. First of all, Ali received support from his colleagues and from students, not only within Turkey, but within the international community. Lectures were given initially in the so-called Langlands Shed, named in honor of Robert Langlands, who donated a significant part of his Shaw Prize and recently also of his Abel Prize to the village. Here you see Ali teaching in the Lang Lang Sheds in 2007. The continuing support of the international mathematics community in giving advanced lectures on a voluntary basis played also an important role in the success of the project. The operation of the mathematics village is now self-sustaining with public donations used only for purpose of expansion and development. 
now developing the village. At the first years, only 100 students participated in the summer program at the undergraduate and graduate level. They were taught by Ali and by some enthusiastic mathematicians. The building complex expanded and more and more students could be admitted. Turkish graduate students also volunteered to give courses. Moreover, the village has now become an important venue for international conferences. In addition to university students, high school children from the age of 14 were admitted to the two-week summer uh, camps during holidays. The fees of these high school programs are $25 per day, reduced or waived whenever there are financial difficulties. I mention this because this is basically the income on which the, uh, the, 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 the village runs, paid by the parents. Here you see a picture Ali teaching, and this is a very typical picture. I have seen several of the movies and the videos at YouTube, and he uh, waves his hands, and you see on the right hand this young student just uh, imitating him <laughs> as really contiguous. The project enjoyed so, such a good reputation that it was considered an honor to be admitted. There are many more applications than they can admit. Many of the lectures are now viewable, as I said, on videos on YouTube. While normal high school education in Turkey is focused on university admission with typical memorizing, the focus in the mathematics village is on communicating, understanding, understanding and independent thinking. Teaching and learning in the village. Here you see pictures from students uh, 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 participating at lectures in the village. The two-week cycles begin and end on Sundays with the departure and arrival of hundreds of students. The university level courses are organized according to topics. The range of the topics is large. Lie algebras, Fourier analysis, measure theory, representation theory of groups, to mention a few. But also interdisciplinary topics between mathematics, philosophy, physics, and computer science. For instance, in 2018, if you go to the webpage of the village, you can find uh, high school philosophy summer school and an international Aegean school of human rights. All teaching in the village is voluntary and unpaid. In return, the accommodation and meals for the lecturers is free. Most of the courses are in Turkish, but some are in English. The village attracts now the best Turkish teachers and promoters of mathematics as well as mathematicians from all over the world. Many lecturers are former students and previous summer programs in the village. Just a few numbers about uh, the village. The village comprises now more than 35,000 square meters, approximately half of it consists of olive groves. The complex of buildings consists at the moment of 18, uh, 16 bedrooms, two amphitheaters, four closed and four open-air lecture halls, two Turkish baths, one for women and one for men, 29 single or double rooms, a fully functional kitchen, cafeteria, small shop, and a wonderful two-story library for which you see here a picture, the library conference hall and the joint dining area. All this was constructed together with this architect, Sevan Nizanyan, and he really made a, a, a very interesting architectural buildings. The village has the capacity to accommodate about 150 people with the option of pitching tents if more capacity is needed. Sometimes the place is overflowed with about 400 students. In 2017, there were 10,379 visits by children at the age of 13 or older as part of organized programs. Now I come to the end. I just collect some of the basic principles behind the teaching and learning uh, of this mathematics village. 
In 2014, Ali Nizin had expressed his ideas to expand the village by constructing adjacent philosophy and art villages with the words, the whole valley should be dedicated to education, not to a standard one, but a pirate one. And this pirate one idea is actually what guides him also in mathematics. This idea has been put into action. An independent theater school has been established on an adjacent site, also with the assistance of Sivan Nisanyan. The Nezin Mathematics Village is now a cultural magnet, even a tourist attraction, also partly because of the architecture. The governing aim is access to knowledge, education, and freedom, based on the principles of safety, independence, and responsibility. Quoting Ali, it's not possible to have a proper education in an environment without freedom. You can give average education in an environment with restricted freedom, but not a proper one. Here you see Ali when uh, the, elementary or the elementary school uh, children come and ask him for signing his books. Conclusion. F I just want to cite from a nomination letter, he, Nezin, is more efficient in the popularization of the mathematical culture than the whole Turkish Ministry of Education. Here you see the lecture in an open-air theater, and I want to cite the statues of the Lavati Prize. The prize is awarded to a person in recognition of outstanding contributions for increasing public awareness of mathematics as an intellectual discipline and the crucial role it plays in diverse human endeavors. I think it's hard to imagine someone else who has earned this award more than Ali Nizi. Thank you very much. Thank you.